Tariff threats creating unwanted uncertainty and worry for many small American manufacturers. The Louisiana-based manufacturer of conveyor belts and food processing equipment, Latram, putting all future investments on hold. With us now from New Orleans is Latram's president, Jay LaPierre. Good to have you here. Great to be here. Thank you, Michelle. Is that true? You are stopping, uh, what, is it CapEx no. investments? What kind of investments are you stopping as a result of fears about tariffs and trade? No, I think, I think that's a, a prospective problem. What I think we're seeing, to give a, a clear picture of the impact we're seeing already, is that for the first five months of the year, we saw pretty uh, remarkable growth, probably influenced by the deregula deregulations and by the, uh, by the tax uh, changes. But in June, our bookings were, uh, were soft, uh, actually lower than last year. And what we know for sure is that these tariffs have, have not been good. They definitely have, uh, have caused an impact where we are at a competitive disadvantage to, uh, to foreign manufacturers of, of, uh, of equipment so that not only can they compete in, in the global game uh, more effectively, but they're also positioned to, uh, to compete domestically because you can import German, Canadian, Japanese equipment now with, uh, that's made with, uh, with cheaper steel than what we could get. So that's clearly a, a material impact, and this has is, is not, not been good for, uh, for us from that point of view. And there's some, there's some longer-term implications that, uh, that are caused by this uncertainty, and that's the point you were referencing, and that's more prospective, the, the where is this headed problem because what we're doing is we're doing a slow walk on what we're, what we're uh, making with respect to investments. Anything we haven't committed to, we're, we're walking uh, slowly. And we're expecting that our okay. customers are in the same position we're in. So that's a big deal. Uh, and then the last the and probably, go ahead. Yeah. No, I'm, 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 forgive me. Go finish, your, finish your thoughts, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'd say the, the, the point that's least well understood in all of this is probably the complexity of how trade operates today. That, that we are a global manufacturer, we're probably the poster child for a company that manufactures in the US and competes globally and sells our products and services globally. And we have to source the absolute best uh, and we have to compete. So we'll use molding equipment from Germany or we have specialized equipment from the US or we have some from Canada. And then we have dozens of specialized processes so that we can control every step of our process because we're selling into food sanitation and we're selling into high-speed high package sorting. So we cannot afford to have anything not be uh, state-of-the-art the best it can be. And what this is mm -hmm. going to do is, dis is disrupt uh, uh, that process, but it's also how we design our equipment. So, we source the best components. Well, every time you change the form, fit, or function, or integration of any piece of equipment and any component, it can take months to qualify that particular uh, component. So I think the risk okay, so of Okay, so Scott wants to get a question in here. I hate big, to interrupt, right? but we, there's, yeah, we have sure. so many questions. Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious, sir, mm -hmm. as to whether you believe the president is, is right, though, to think that other countries have an unfair advantage uh, over us and he is going to take action by any means that he feels he can get results and that there's simply more bark than what may be actual bite and that the worst case scenario that you anticipate may not come to fruition. Well, I, I, let's, let's walk back from the last question first. I think the worst case may not come to fruition, but the overhang uh, of that uncertainty and the concern about it is, uh, is real and exists today, and it's going to only continue until it's resolved. But I think then you have to come back and say, what problem are we trying to solve? Because if we start with, we're talking about the balance of trade, or are we talking about a level playing field in tariffs? Are we talking about a level playing field in subsidies? Or are we talking about the IP and the, and the cheating? And when you conflate all of them, and just say that they're cheating us, uh, the, the, you get a, a misunderstanding of what yeah, he, he definitely what puts we're all of those with. together. I, I think for some reason he thinks that right. that gives him a lot so, of leverage when you put them all together. Tell me something. Do you pay tariffs when you ship stuff into China and the EU? Would it benefit you if there were lower tariffs for your products to where you ship? Absolutely. And if that's the goal, if that is what we ultimately can get is a level you know, tariff-free, open trade, 
then what we're likely to see, though, is not an improvement in the balance of trade. We're likely to see the balance of trade goes where it can. But all of these, the, the, the important thing is to take a step back and ask, what are we talking about? Because we're talking about millions and millions of, of individual transactions where each person wins. You don't get cheated when someone gives you a better deal. So yes, we pay tariffs, and yes, it would be better, and yes, uh, IP is a huge concern. Where are your highest uh, tariffs? And, and where, where, where are your most problematic tariffs? I, I, don't, I don't know for sure, but I would say countries that do least well, uh, say a Brazil, was, is, a, is a country where they are very protectionist, and the result is they have a very bad economy. Uh, China is benefiting because they've been freeing up and freeing up, and they're more free today, and they have uh, more market forces going on today, and this has been going on for 40 years. So the trend is terrific, and we simply need to continue to, uh, to, to, to try to move and set the example of moving in that direction. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.